I'm so tired. Do we post in Fearless Women? Hey. Yeah, we can go ahead and do that. Mm -hmm. all, right. all right, all right, all right. I hope everybody is having a fabulous week. I know the end of the week has came to an end. I want to welcome everybody back to Girlfriends Chit Chat for another show. I'm all excited tonight, y'all. Yeah. I got to get the beats from Nicole tonight, y'all, because she's going to talk to us about some podcasts tonight, y'all, because I'm excited. And I hope you are too. So with no further ado, let me introduce myself to you. My name is Amir Bay. I'm the host of Girlfriends Chit Chat and also Miss Shauna Price, the connection guru, Ooh. as well as who? Miss Leslie Thomas, the sheep promotes network. You better go get it, sis. So we're going to be handling this thing tonight because we're going to dive deep into Miss Nicole Walker. So let me tell you all a little bit about Nicole because we want to kind of get an idea of who she is and how she came to be the woman she is today. So Nicole, in 2008, found herself functionally depressed while settling for the life she had been given, as opposed to creating the life she desired. On the outside, things appeared to be good, yet on the inside, it felt totally different. Nicole was sick and tired of being just that, sick and tired. So she finally decided to do something about it. Through her journey of healing and personal development, Nicole realized that she had the power to take her life by the reins and redefine herself. Today, Nicole is an award-winning podcaster, global influencer, international speaker, podcast coach, and woman empowerment advocate. Nicole yeah. attributes much of her personal success to starting her podcast. When hers united, which is often state, literally changed her life. Podcasting has opened numerous doors for Nicole and she is internally grateful for her podcasting journey thus far. Because of podcasting, Nicole has been named one of the top 50 moms in podcasting by Podcast oh, Magazine wow. and 2020 Top Influencer by the Success Women's Conference. And she has been nominated for the Excellence in Audio Media Award by the National Black Media and Press Association. Nicole launched her She Leads podcast, Leadership Empowerment for Women of Color, which she recently rebranded to Win Hers United. Nicole used this platform to showcase leading women of color entrepreneurs as a representation for the unrepresented and to promote collaboration as opposed to competition. She experienced among women she has encountered. Nicole believes that the four pillars to entrepreneurial success are business, mindset, personal development, and self-care. This is why When Her United Podcast episodes and events focuses on these topics. With no further ado, come on in, sister. What more can I say tonight? Hey, oh, I know girl, that. Girl, you doing it. I like that. <laughs> Don't she you, read girl. it when you listen to it, you be like, who is, Who is she me? talking about? Where is this person, right? <laughs> you said, I am Black history. That, that's what you're saying. Okay, look, yes, I had to are. represent for the last uh, Friday in Black History <laughs> Month, even though Black History is every day. Yes, it is. Yeah, you better say it with your chest. I know that's right. But yes. you know, tell us a little bit about your podcast. What has that really influenced? Because I mean, you know, we talk about bios all the time, but tell us a little bit about who you are and about your, about your podcast journey. Okay, well, who am I? I feel like that's a loaded question, right? And we could be here for the 39 years that um, I am old, right? Trying to say who Nicole is, but at the core, just a really down to earth, fun loving, adventurous spirit, right? Someone who, like you said, was like functionally depressed for so many years and didn't realize the powers that I had with, within me, right? Like really found myself around people that weren't inspirational, taking in content that kept me down and then evolving into the person I am today via podcasting. And actually, it's funny, when I started my podcast, I thought that I would be helping the world with leadership and right. entrepreneurship and mindset, but I didn't realize how much the journey would help me and how much I would actually learn by wanting to get out and help other people. So it's really 
been amazing. It's been an amazing journey and it's just literally changed my life. I like to say that I teleported to a different realm right. when I a podcaster because I didn't hang around the right kind of people, quote unquote. Don't get me wrong, mm-hmm. great hearts, great people, but just right. not where I wanted to find myself. Right. Mm. So I decided to create this platform because I wasn't around these people. Like I legit thought that I was the first person creating this kind of platform because I had no idea that they, right. So I teleported into a different world and come to learn about all of the amazing women of color that are doing amazing things. Right. Okay. With collaborating and holding each other up, even though we're in the same industry doing the same things, like it's okay. A high five, the next woman. I love that. I, yeah, I that's so beautiful. Love the whole like collaboration is so huge, right? Yeah. It's so right. huge. And I love the fact that you had the opportunity. And I, I, I want to say opportunity to, because to, I think sometimes we don't take advantage of the opportunity, but the opportunity to say, okay, I'm just going to step out here, right, and and do what I need to do for me, not knowing it was people on the other side of that that could, you know, pull you along the way and lock arms with you, right? But had you not said, Nicole got to have better, then you wouldn't have known what was on the other side of you making that decision to have better. So, yes, love. Yes. I, this is awesome. I, we don't do that. I love yeah. that. I love that. I love that you are that you're connected with women that are are doing the same thing and like high five mm-hmm. you through it, right? Because I right. that's how I see it, champion you through it. And I think sometimes we don't become the champion to somebody else, right? To to root them on, to you know, connect them and position them with other people, whatever the case may be. But that's awesome that that's what you like, tired or not tired, right? Right. It's not a day. It, you don't. You're not waking up to the same old, old, right? The same old. Like sometimes you have to say, "Look, I can't have these conversations no more. They're not serving me." Right. Yeah, yeah, and it is. I feel like though, at every level, it's a different challenge, right? right. So my challenges don't look like they used to look, but it's mm-hmm. challenges. I'm the same, right? So. Right. Well, well, I have a question. You know, podcasts have, have, you know, they have just become so popular within the last few years. What do you think, not only just being a woman, but an African-American woman, why do you think we're seeing so much success in this area? What is it about podcasting that you think is just, you know, really just exploding on the scene? What do you think? Why do you think it's seeing so much success? Oh, that's a good question. Am I qualified? <laughs> you qualified. <laughs> you, you got a podcast that's you in 97 know, countries all the time. Okay. Like even with Clubhouse, right? Like people are looking for different means of mm-hmm. outlet, right? So it's sort of like the world just turning over again, right? How right. radio be the thing, right. you know, it's just coming back around. And now it's that audio via the internet, right? Because that's right. what I think podcasting is it's just a it's a I don't want to say jets um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. it's a radio show on the internet right. that's my yeah. in terms of what podcasting is so mm-hmm. I would equate it to being just history repeating itself to where right. you know audio was a thing and people are perhaps tired of sitting in front of the tv right when they listen to a podcast they can do a double duty they can clean their house right they can listen to it while they're driving in their car more so, you know, pre-pandemic than now, but they can do two things at one time, which, you know, unfortunately or fortunately, however you want to look at it, that's something come to do in our current world. Mm -hmm. No, you're right. I like that answer. That's awesome. You can definitely, you know, listen to a podcast and not have to read the subtitles like I do. Yes, go I watch TV. I can't do anything else because I got to catch the subtitles. (laughs) No, make sure I get everything I need. Um, I have a question. Um, and this is, this question stems from uh, what Leslie said earlier as we were coming in and she was like, so you can tell me what I'm doing wrong with my podcast. But <laughs> yes. What do you think um, helps a podcast to be not just effective, but because you're, you're, you're international, right? You're international. Um, you're, it, 97 countries 
so that means you're around the globe. What do you think helps a podcast become that effective, right? That what helps it to become that good? What what give us the juice? Right. All of it. All of it. Come on, Nicole. I wish it could be so grandiose, right? But it's really not as grandiose as people may think, right? The number one thing that gets it to be effective is provide value. Consistency. Like people, you know, like let people know when they can expect you. Mm -hmm. Be there when they expect you. Right. right. In addition to that, just putting out quality content, I would say, and finding your people or allowing your people to find you via the words that you use, right, like, to the different groups and making sure that you're promoting consistently. Mm-hmm. Those are the top tips that I could give in relation to that. Wow. Because I, think, wow. I think that's the biggest thing. I do. I think the right that's the words. Big thing. Yeah. Promoting consistently. Yeah. Yeah. Is that all we had? Did you write these down, Leslie? Yes. Yeah. Hey, because I got replay, baby. <laughs> and then you know no. what another one is too, though, right? Like a, a lot of times, I feel like people think one and done in yeah. relation to podcast, yeah, right. Uh-huh. But it's not one and done, right? If it right. if it's on Clubhouse, yeah, now it's one and done, right? But a podcast, that's content that's there forever, and I think a lot of people don't re recycle reuse and repurpose their content like okay it came out a long time ago for the most part it's evergreen right so are you continuing to remind people of that when a new episode comes out that has maybe a semblance of an old episode are you tying in that old episode oh yeah we talked about that on this episode also right so continuing to reuse that content because you have to realize like a lot of people may not have heard that one that came out three years ago, right? Why not right. some of the one that's out three years ago? Right, right. right. That's a good point, though, because like you like had that. seven seasons. So in knowing seven seasons, that's a lot of shows. So a right. lot of times you may go back and reiterate something from a show from four seasons ago because people have missed it or you've got new viewers now that are listening that may not want to go back. They just want to continue on from where you are, but repurposing is huge i mean i've heard so many people say that word over and over again it's repurpose repurpose because right if you can't go live or something happens you can repurpose the show right because right. you don't know who's watched it before right. and maybe i've listened to it but i'm i'm like man i heard that show before but now that i hear it again i'm catching something else you know she nicole right. dropped another nugget that i right. missed so right. that's real good that is real good right One question that I have as well is, you know, I'm always thinking, and I think we had our guest a few weeks ago, uh, Chrissy Connor, the awesome visibility coach. Uh, She mentioned, you know, again, piggybacking off of what Amira said about content. People always like, I would do a podcast, but do I really have enough content to be able to share? You know, how do you find inspiration for your podcast? Well, see, mine is a little different, but I do have tips for people to find Mm -hmm. content. So the women that I feature are my content, right? So Mm -hmm. no story is ever going to be exactly the same because I'm feeding the woman's story, right? right? So for the most part, I have a script of questions that I ask, but I rotate in and out the particular questions, right? Okay. time, although they're the same questions, it's a different story because it's a different person, right? Like, no person's story is the same right so I'm not you know however you choose to do I don't know you know if that's quote unquote the best right I feel like podcasting is your voice on your terms right gotcha what I've chosen to be my format but for people that don't choose for that to be your format there is a resource called answerthepublic.com it's a website and you can type in whatever topic you want And then you can see what people are searching the internet for asking about that topic. Wow. Okay. That's good. I like that. Trying to get some ideas in relation to what what do other people want to know, right? Because we want to give people what they want as opposed to guessing what they want, right? We want to know from the people's mouth, right? Right. Right. That makes sense. I like that. I mean, yeah, that's good. Because I mean, now do you ask your followers and do you ask people in your community like what they would like to hear? or what they would like to talk about? Is that one method of you using it to kind of get an idea for the people that already follow you, what they would like to see and hear? 
No, I don't. And maybe that's something that I need to do, right? But like I said, <laughs> I share. So I want to hear, I share the woman's story. So this is my selfishness, right? Right. Is it right? Is it wrong? You know, I don't it's know. Yours. But, it's yours. Um, no, that's your baby. Yeah. Oh, I do ask for feedback, right? And I have i haven't gotten anyone that tells me, oh, I want to hear this. You know, they right. say that, you know, I love your podcast. I suggest right. to you all of the people that I've told or things right. like that. Yeah. Is it safe to say if it's not broke, don't fix it? Yes. Not, I yeah. don't know because that's something I that I'm it. kind of battling with whether or not to fix it. So that is interesting that you say that. Um, I feel like life is a continual journey and I'm the yeah. kind of person that always wants to grow and improve right. and I don't ever want to think I made it, quote unquote, right? Because that's right. the first step for falling off. Right. So that's where I am. So I am in the stage of debating exactly how I want to move forward with possibly season, right. eight, especially because I just rebranded with season, season seven. And I know season seven was a rebrand. A lot of the interviews were pre recorded because it kind of the rebrand happened unexpectedly. Right. So season eight will really be like an official relaunch so to say yeah. under the with content that's specifically for when hers united so i'm debating right. whether or right. not or which way i'll go so if anyone has any suggestions or any way that they would like to hear let us know in the comments yeah please let us know I, I, seriously i think it's great i like the fact that too that i see why you read i kind of let me ask you a question what made you rebrand all right, so look, so now that means that mean you ain't listening to season seven, episode one. But we're gonna do that for, the <laughs> for the listeners who may not know. <laughs> yes, come on now. Yes, but no, very interesting, right? So it was a bittersweet. So what happened was I ended up getting a email from someone letting me know that they had she leads under trademark. Right. And at first the conversation was nice. And next thing you know, I got a cease and desist email, cease and desist letter. Right. And it was so funny because, well, funny, I use the word funny often, which I said I need to stop because funny, but it's not funny. Right. So funny. Uh, that's your word. That's, that's your, word. your word. Keep it. My word is suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> that is my word. You hear me? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you be leaned in like, for real? You sure? Yeah. <laughs> I'm suspicious. I've gotten away from suspicious. You just made me want to go back to it. But uh, <laughs> yeah, Please? so I got the cease and desist, right? And it was a bittersweet because it was like, well, mama, I must have made it, right? Because if I wasn't making noise, you know, I wouldn't have got a cease and desist. Right. Especially because she leads is so overused in the market. So I'm not the only yeah. person using it. However, right. I do think I'm the only woman of color that was using it, but that's a whole right. other story. We won't even, right. you know, we won't, I, I threw it out there, but we, we just gonna let it sit out there. We're not gonna right. get too deep into that one. But yeah, so then I was faced with, do I want to pay this woman? You know, no. do I just want to stop altogether or do I want to rebrand? And I ended up rebranding. So you rebranded to win hers. Yep. That's Wait, good. Wait, what are you boo? I think it's okay. I think it, that's, you know what, that's a conversation that all of us are going through right now. Because yeah. if you're not, and I, this is the truth, and I don't know if it was, it was, I don't know if Leslie, if it was you, Shauna, somebody posted about trademarking, that if you're not mm -hmm. trademarking and, and putting a stamp of approval on it, then it's just like, well, it's one yeah. of those things. I mean, it's nothing you really can do about it. Like you said, you had to make a, a crucial decision and it can be very impactful to your business. Right. So, you know, you yes. did the right thing. Let's be yeah. honest. Ownership is the name of the game. It yeah. is. You own your it name, is. it makes a difference. And right. to, to your to your point, Nicole, when I when I first started the Connection Guru, it was going to be the network her. And I was like, oh, this is fire. Me right. and one of my besties that came up with it. Right. And we was having this conversation one day and she was like, listen, you can't be afraid to sell the name if somebody wants to buy it. And I'm like, okay. She said, because I know this lady who has everything in her business ends in her, right? And I'm like, do you think she got the network her, right? Because it wasn't trademarked yet. And she was like, um, I don't know. So we riding down the road. She's still talking. Yeah, I'm riding down the road, searching on the, on the internet. Right. Oh, God. Right? <laughs> and so 
I some for some reason I searched. I don't know the, the search was different, and it came up. All this stuff came up. Well, it wasn't a lady in California. It was some chick over in um, the UK who had hmm. an international trademark, and wow. so I could not use that name. Like I emailed her, like you want to sell this? She was like, No, honey. I suggest you get something different. And I was like, Well, who gonna check you, boo? Yeah, <laughs> and that's, that's what I did. And from there. It's, I ain't gonna lie to you. It's nothing like seeing your name on something similar yeah. or something similar to your name and, and being able to say, I'm gonna need for you not to use this anymore. This wow. does not belong but you to know, you. But you know, the thing about it is, is now when hers is present. So now mm-hmm. she is taking that to the next level. And that's all. And I think at this point, it's a, it's a, it's a learned experience, y'all. You know, we right. learned. It, it really right. is. It is. I cry like a baby. That's, you oh. cry. <laughs> Y'all know. It, it, I cry about everything. Girl. I can understand the cry because yeah. I attached to it early. Yeah. And thank God it was in the early part of the business. But yeah. I got yeah. attached to it so early. I was right. so hyped because I was struggling with a business name. And right. then when it actually, I was like, so <laughs> are you going, um, have you been through trademarking with Winhurst? Yes, we are almost done through the process. I wasn't that playing no games. This she time. said, we "Not are. this time." No. no, we are almost done through the process, and that's yeah. Like, because when I started with she leads, like I was new, right? Although this is my yeah. fourth time in business, none of the other times I took business seriously, right? Mm-hmm. So when I started with she leads, I didn't even know to check tra- check a trademark, right? I checked to make sure no other podcast had the name. Right. But check, checking a trademark wasn't even in my sphere, right? Like, if you don't know about it, how can you right. do it, right? right. So right. it was a very hard lesson, right? A mm-hmm. necessary lesson, though, because when hers allowed me to differentiate myself in the business, I guess no right. other thing similar to that. I right. like it. A podcast anyway, you know. I think it's, it's catchy. It's vibrant. Trademark. I mean, I think when I read it first, the, thing, the first thing that came to mind when I went, read when hers was, okay, yeah, we going to win. Like, that's the kind of feeling I got yeah. from it. Like, let's get this. You know, we're going to win now. Right. But yeah. I, and and much blessings to you in your uh, trademark process because that yeah. process is super long. Like, Thank dumb you. long. Yes. It's for real long. <laughs> <laughs> but it's definitely worth um, It's definitely worth it in the, at, at the end of the day. Yeah. Yeah. And then it gives you an opportunity. I think God kind of puts us in position sometimes so that we can evolve, honestly. Yes. Uh, that there's something about that particular trademark that is going to take you so many more places than the initial one would have. I kind of see the blessing in, 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 the, in the obstacles, so to speak. So I kind of see that, you know, we're going to be seeing this for a very long time. So the trademark and the effort's going to be definitely worth it. I just tend to not get flustered now when, those little things, I'm like, okay, God, you you changed the trajectory, yes. so where are we going now? Yeah. And then usually every person that I know that have gone through that said that was the absolute best thing that could have happened. It didn't feel like it at that moment, but they're like, man, God knew something I didn't because I cried over and just think this is this is where I am now, and they're doing so well. So I tend to not get crazy. That evolution you're going through is going to be crazy. Yeah, it's for it's for the it's for the win. Like she yeah. leads was not it, right? Yeah, yes. I agree. I I agree that. With See? <laughs> when I hers agree. was it. See, that was it. Okay. You was winning in this season. See, that was but, your win season. You know what? It made so much sense. Even listening to some of the episodes that I recorded before the change. Mm-hmm. Like, first of all, win has always been my thing, right? I right. say winning all the time. All I do is win, like literally all the time, right. personally. And then for it to transition into that, it just really made sense. But at the time, I didn't see any of that, right? right. So right. I do agree. And yeah. it's exciting it's, after definitely wasn't going through, right? And just think, I think where whatever the person is that had it before that was like, no, nah, you need to go and stop. Baby, they're not going to even see the success with it that you could have made it. So, you know, let, let them ride with it. I know that's right. Oh, she I'm, tried to pull it under her wing. She wanted to pull it. So she saw something. You yeah, know, but she wanted to have some ownership there. Yeah. Um, and I just wasn't trying to. No, 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 um, not not as you grow and you're evolving. There's no way you can just uh-uh. you had to do what you had to do. Yeah, I like it, though. I like what and you have. Growing, and I mean, that's the thing about it is that now you're moving into that direction. And so when hers is just 
is doing it. I'm, I have to say that I'm, I'm truly impressed at how you just like evolving. And I mean, my thing is now since you're getting to that place and the excitement and everything. Yeah. Are you now, now I see when I was reading about you as well is coaching podcasts. So are you coaching any individuals who are seeking to either start or to take their podcast to the next level? Yes, I actually started coaching my first client earlier this year, and I have a mm -hmm. second one coming on in a few weeks. So that is wow. an exciting evolution. Excellent. Really? And it's so interesting, right? Because this is not what I wanted. And I kicked and screamed, right? Wow. Even last year, I had people saying, give a podcast class, give a podcast class, which right. I gave one in, what was that? August of last year, right? But mm -hmm. it, I think it was supposed to be June. So from June right. to August, I kicked and screamed. I did not want to do it, right? right? Then I finally did it and it's evolved into this. And even with what's it evolved into, I still was kind of kicking and screaming because I wanted to be more on the business strategy side right? because that's what I've been doing in corporate for so many years, playing a mm -hmm. role as a project manager and a business analyst, data, right. data analysis, right? right? So I wanted it to be that. And <laughs> and I didn't want it to be podcasting, right? But right. this is what people are asking me for, right? So going back to, yeah. you, you know, giving people what they ask for as opposed right. to you just kind of doing whatever you want to do. So it's a slow acceptance, right? But I'm right. grateful that <laughs> people see this gift in me and they want right. me to actually help them along the way. I have a question. Okay. Do you enjoy podcasting? That's a good question. I enjoy talking to people. Do I enjoy editing? No, I do not. I thought I did. At one point in time, I did. But editing is a pain for me lately because I am a recovering perfectionist. So it can take hours <laughs> She said hours. recovering, y'all. Absolutely. She's a recovering perfectionist. I felt I love that it. in my I spirit. <laughs> I felt that over here. Girl. I, I love that. You know, and talking to women and learning about women, like I love every bit of right. it, right? You know, now some of the, uh, pro, what is that? Is that pre or post? Some of the post-production, no production. Some of the production aspects, right. not my right. thing, right? So now I have to uh, delegate, which I okay. did in the Higher. beginning, mm -hmm. which is probably why it was so super exciting. And then for some reason last year, I decided I wanted to do it all myself like a crazy right. person. And now this year I'm moving back into delegating because it just makes sense so that I can continue to love what I do. Yeah. I asked, I asked that question for a reason. So with this coaching, is it kind of not like the same thing? You're still oh. getting to talk to somebody. You're still getting to teach them. You're getting, to, you're having an opportunity to like dive into the essence of the part that you enjoy about yeah. what you do. Mm -hmm. um, and quit kicking and screaming. <laughs> and I say that because this is the part of what you do that's going to really change lives. Because see, now you're taking what you do already that speaks to the masses right. and you're teaching somebody else how to get to the masses. Right. Yeah. And so now more lives are being changed because now what it, does it look like when you got uh, somebody who has studied under you, so to speak, and they in 97 countries, yeah. right? Yeah. So <clears throat> quick kick. And then like, ex receive. except what the coaching is, uh, it, it's not, I don't think coaching really ever looks like what we intend for it to look like. That's right. I think that I think that it has, it looks like what God intends for it to look like, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. These people got to get from you what he needs them to get from you. Right. Like every coaching session I've had, the price has to go, needs to go up really because I'm like 45 minutes and then two hours later, right? <laughs> <laughs> but, it, but the pouring that, ha that, that has to come out. Right it's something completely different than what I, I expect that I'm getting ready to give sometime. Right. And so like, I would, I just want to encourage you to look with this next, this next coaching student, is that what we call them? This next client, give them the business, right? The give entire it all business. to them. Like, yeah. because when, when, when you, when they walk away from it, like this one girl told me, um, 
I low key be watching you. You inspire me. And this was on Instagram I one day. I was that. like, yeah. I was like, oh, she just made my whole entire day. Yeah. And she scheduled a consultation. And when we had this consultation, it was, it was almost like talking to a friend who I just gave awesome advice to. Yeah. Right. And she, but she was like, I've been, she, we talk all the time in the DMs all the time. She's like, I've been doing the things that you told me to do, blah, 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 this, that, and the other. Um, but my point is, I think that the coaching part that people ask for that because there's something more about you yeah. that yeah. people need. Yeah. yeah. Don't resist, in other words. Thank you. I heard, Keep I going. Look, I heard that. I heard kick, kick, and scream. Don't yeah. resist. Look, quick, kick, and scream. I love how subtle you say. It was so subtle yet very impactful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> quick, kick. <laughs> but yeah. That's how it is, though. I mean, you know, because we need that sometimes. You know, you, you got to be stretched. Yeah, I know, I know, and I'm like, okay, even, yeah, with everything that I I said, I I feel like I'm being led, right, because a lot of what I'm doing wasn't per se my plan, right, Right. and it's organically evolved into something that I couldn't have planned if I tried to, right, right? so I am super grateful for it, and I'll kick, well, you know, think about it like this, how many, how many pastors, you know, you know, bishops, men and women of God that have actually accepted the calling, every last one of them said that I did not go willingly. I haven't met one that said I was there. Yes, Lord, come on. We got this. I'm a pastor. Preacher. This one still ain't going willingly. No. And, and, <laughs> then, on this one. Yes. and then the thing is that like, they go kicking and screaming. You better but know because, it. But we, but when he has a plan and a purpose, it doesn't come in the form that we think it should. True. It may look like obstacles, but it's really growth and power for the journey. You know what I Lily, mean? So you better get at real talk. I'm trying Check to tell it. you, it's I've learned that I stopped resisting God. And I'm like, God, this don't look like nothing I imagined. He like, but you ain't Ooh. God. So that's hey. right. what you imagine. Come on said, now. I just need you to trust me. It ain't going to mm. look like what you do. Because if it looked like, then that's you doing it. I right. want you to do it the way I want you to do it. So I'm, I'm just like feeling, I see just that, that work, that, that board behind you said, let your light shine. So you truly got to go ahead and live by that affirmation at this point, right. because what you're doing for you to be that massive going, God said, no, no, I need to take you this way. It's like, God, okay, just help me to go in the curve with you, Lord. Just help me to just make the turn with you because I don't know what I'm doing, but he say, trust me. I'm looking at that, let your light shine. I'm like, God, I feel all of that. I'm going to feel it too. I'm adding the words of Shana. I'm saying it with my my body study that I've been doing for the last couple of weeks. I didn't know this when I signed up for now. (laughs) Listen, (laughs) when you come here, you come here to have real conversation. Yes. Yes. We come to talk to, we we come to talk to you real. Speaking yeah. of which, let's talk no, we didn't come scene. here with this. Ain't no cookie cutter. We don't do cookie okay. cutter. Okay. Well, we'll have no. We'll have, have no real questions. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all come and have real conversation. You know, we yeah. ask questions. I tell people all the time, we ask questions, but we have to allow it to <laughs> flow. You know, because of our guests, because you never know, because it's always that conversation that needs to be had, and mm-hmm. a lot of us don't want to have it because we want to stay to those same questions. But in regards to you, we want to speak to your your greatness. Yeah. And everything you gonna do. There's so, no growth so, and mediocrity, and girl. You better keep pushing. We better so be I over got two things. Two things. Oh, Shauna says she got I'm two nervous. things. Put them two things, Shauna. First, I want to chime in and say thank you to everybody who's listening. Yeah. Um, because you asked, do people have any ideas for podcast shows? And they have responded. Coded words that bosses use for bias in leadership. Mm. Another good topic, fe- female misogynist. Mm. And those might be the only the only two right now. But they are really responding. So we always want to say thank you to the people. Thank you. Oh, yeah. yeah. And, and chime always in. Insight. We love to, we love to chime in. Love y'all. You know, we like we like to add, you know, if they got questions, we ask them, you know, because see a lot of us want to know. You know, and then the second know. thing, the second thing is. Girl, what you use on your skin? <laughs> oh, you know what? Listen. Oh, right. Are you kidding? Look, Nicole, I, I read your post the other day. I read your post about you Mary Kay. I'm about to say, is this a setup? Look, is this a setup? No, I, hey. I just said that so good. She said that. I, didn't, I haven't said that. I, 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 I,
haven't seen it. So listen. In August, I became a Mary Kay consultant. So okay. another plug, right? I right. use a Time Wise collection. So if anyone wants that Time Wise collection, because I've been a lot of people have been telling me my skin looks good, right? So yeah. You know what? I, I use Time Wise. Mary Kay has a good product. I cannot lie. I am an ex Mary Kay consultant, <laughs> right? And literally. Today, because I've been, I've been telling my husband, like, I need something different for my skin, even though these ladies keep telling me I'm glowing. You yeah, you're glowing. I need yes. something. I need something. Because you're pregnant. Because you're pregnant. I want to put the glow, business, not the baby. I want to put the business in the street. <laughs> <laughs> and so I was thinking to myself, maybe I ought to get me mm-hmm. some botanicals <clears throat> and call my Mary Kay consultant and get some botanicals because... That's probably something I can use for my skin, right? And it's a lot easier than anything else. But yeah, I used to live, I used to live by that time wise. Your skin look good, honey. Thank you, thank you. I'm hearing good. that so much lately. I got to start promoting Mary Kay a little more. I'll be playing games. Listen, what you don't do, you do it, Ace? No, it, huh? <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry. Oh, go ahead. What you need to do is is do you go live? Occasionally, not as much so, as that occasionally. I was, so, I was going live consistently for a while, then I stopped. Are you on Instagram? I am. Do a reel, and in your reel, show like you're doing your facial regimen. Let the little words, you know, let your little words pop up of what you're using, and do a, a skincare facial regimen because Time Wise has an actual regimen, right? And record it, right? Record it first on your phone. Record it first on your phone um, because you need to do day and night. So mm-hmm. record it first on your phone and then save that recording, do the night and then like play it for the next day, right? Mm-hmm. And then people get to see what night and day is like, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Listen, because I know about Mary Kay. Okay, you know about, okay. Mary, Kay, about Mary Kay. See, look, she's but, doing it all. Podcast and coach. She gonna you know what I'm Mary saying? <laughs> Business <laughs> strategy. <laughs> Hey, hey like income, y'all. Streams of income. <laughs> With your podcast, that's even another, you know, like that's a whole topic, like like skin and self-care and self-care. all that good stuff. That yes. is like Mary Kay has the happening. most awesome skincare. They really do have they do they I can't tell no stories. But I'm sorry, y'all. I'm Clinique, so I can't. Uh-oh. Oh no, be, I use Mary uh-oh. Kay. I'm sorry, y'all. I used to be a Mary Kay <laughs> consultant too. <laughs> I'm Clinique. I'm Clinique. <laughs> Clinique. I'm sorry. I'm Clinique. I just, I'm sorry. You know, I, I feel, feel like that's sorry, not sorry. I feel like that's sorry, not, not sorry. Cl- <laughs> <laughs> that's just, it, it was just a courtesy. Yes. Right. What do you like about Clinique? I have a girlfriend I, who loves Clinique. That's why I asked. I, I love their skincare regimen. I mean, I'm a three step fan. So then I actually work for the company. So, I mean, I use their product continuously. So, how to even out your skin and make it glow and all that good stuff. Yeah. You all I mean, see you, this skin? Look, we all up here look, talking about skin. We now on the skin tip. See, look. Hey, that you might be a future money. podcast at some point. We're working through ideas. Look. Lisa say <laughs> she is me. Look, look, you there know, you go, Nicole. Do your self-care podcast, girl. Get somebody on there about skincare and esthetician. Lisa say she used she used Mary Kay too. She used to be a Mary Kay consultant. She's selling out as we speak. Come on, Lisa Jones. See there, that's oh, right. I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm all about it. And you know what? I believe that we are a representation of our product. Right. Mm. If you're going to do skincare and you're going to sell it, you got to wear it. Yeah. I mean, look at all the shades of, of Do you of, have on any black foundation? Yeah. <laughs> so that's this is where I, that's where that's what I could tell you. I didn't think you had on foundation, mm-hmm. and so she has this awesome glow happening with her Mary Kay products. Yeah, listen, my Mary Kay consultant life wasn't. It could have been better, right? It could have been better. But when I used the products, I enjoyed the skincare. Yeah, that's how you I got. I didn't it. buy. I didn't become a consultant to actually sell. I became a consultant because I wanted the you product, that, that, right? And I wanted the discount, discount, right? But right. then now it's like, okay, yeah, I might as well sell about it. She ain't trying to right. sell, but if somebody wanted to contact you, you are available for purchase. If you yes, like, yes. Yeah, you go, see. My website is on my Facebook page as well. 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice plug. Absolutely. You, and you can get this quick drop ship. <laughs> Thank you. We all of y'all, we still all about business here, y'all. We can tell yeah, I mean, about any and everything. Know. But y'all, at the end of the day, we about what? We about that business. Yeah. So if you're doing that thing, we're we trying to show you. Nicole has got a wealth of knowledge. <laughs> so she's trying to do that thing. So yeah. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I'm thinking so, about all of these people who are looking at this, who are possibly wanting to start a podcast. I can say that, let me, let me say this. When, when we finally, when Facebook had the opportunity where you can use your Android and I could actually do an audio live, I was in heaven. I was popping out stuff every week. The second they said, no, I couldn't do an audio. I was in my feelings. Now, podcast is going to give me the opportunity to jump back in because I love that. I don't like going live so much, but I definitely like audio live. So there's a lot of people who, are, especially those introverts, yes, that's Shauna thing, who don't necessarily like being out with a lot of people, but love being behind the scenes. I, I'm looking forward to seeing a lot of people really just kind of venture out and find their, their, their place <sighs> in podcasting. And you and made I, a good point. Because like when I first started, I was, so I'm still coming out of my shell. And a lot of people don't right. believe me when I say I'm shy. They think I'm lying, right? But in a lot of ways, I am shy. Mm -hmm. So for me, podcasting was a way to put myself out there, but not be all the way out there, right? Because right. you couldn't right. see me. So right. it mm -hmm. is a great, like, in between four people. Mm -hmm. You like mm -hmm. talking to people that don't talk back. I wouldn't say that. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm talking to the guests. I guess if it was a solo podcast, then yeah, right? Yeah. But um, no, it was the absence of video that did it for me, right? Yeah. And now I do video in addition. I just haven't massaged it up and put it out yet. Right. So. Right. Right. Are you shy, shy? Are you really shy? No. I, it depends on what we're talking about, shy. Right. Like right. that kind of shy. Right. Yeah. Right. Got it. No, yeah, like people, that. people, one of my best friends, I put it on Facebook one day. People don't believe I'm shy. And this is somebody that knew me since like third grade. She was like, <laughs> shy where? And I'm like, don't be having me looking like a liar. Like I'm shy, you know? <laughs> right. No, that nah. best friend was telling the truth and shaming the devil. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. See? No, nah. I'm an ampervert, right? I'm in. I'm in. I'm ambivert. definitely okay. me too. Ambivert, okay. Me too. Right here, self-proclaimed girl. Leslie must be an Leslie must be an ambivert in her closet somewhere. You ain't no. No, I am. I really because I could truly be in my element. That's why I know podcast is gonna be awesome for me because I flow better that way. I can be in a crowd, but after about 10, 20, 30 minutes, I'm out. I don't. I don't like small talk. I, I hate it. I like knowing that I'm going to be on something in particular, but I definitely am ambivert because I can go and be in a crowd and be in it, in it. But after a certain point, I want to be alone. Uh-oh, so when can we podcast? I do. I'm about to, look, hey, my daughter about to graduate, about to go on to college. Y'all don't know, I'm about to get a whole nother life going on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to have look, a whole Look, she out the life. house. What oh, girl? Yes. Oh my! You gonna transfer? So, you gonna morphosize into something? I'm gonna have my four or five businesses trying to, you know, just keep my life right. Like y'all don't know, my, I'm gonna really blossom after my child graduates and moves on college campus. That's when I'm gonna flow. I feel it. She feels. So do you not think you're omnivert? Me? Yep. I think you're omnivert too. But have y'all heard of omnivert? No. What's, what's that? omnivert? listen I had a girlfriend who was like I'm I'm a, I'm a true omnivert and I was like wait a minute because I'm the vert specialist I need to go look this up she's on the so, vert specialist <laughs> the, uh, omnivert is is a person who is an introvert and an extrovert so they're they're like um extremely introverted when they're in presented with situations right. they don't want to be in and then they are extroverted and can be the life of the party, right? So for me, I was like, that's an yeah, That's what I am. That's yeah, what I am. Then, I'm so that's it told one. me. Yeah, that's new. It told me that an ambivert, the difference between an ambivert and an omnivert, um, 
So ambivert, and it sounds the same to me, y'all, and y'all can y'all can come in on this, right? Mm-hmm. It says an ambivert is someone whose overall behavior is between introversion and extroversion. Right. right. That's me. And an omnivert is someone who can be either, different at times. Mm. Mm. No, I'm definitely an ambivert. Between versus either or. Mm. No. I think well, I guess I think I, Yeah, go ahead. Like, no, that just sounds they sound the same to me. I mean, I, I feel like they be coming like up with too many definitions. They be stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's like, that's women X. Y'all heard about the women X? Like women X? And it's What's a woman X. Listen, What's it's too much. I just read it recently. It's something about it's the extra for women. I don't know. Too much. That's what it is. Yeah. I'm I like, I just yeah. can't get with anything past the 90s. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't. That's so good you said that because I think we need to go back sometime. (laughs) No, I mean I could I could be totally one thousand on each spectrum. So I could be extrovert and be in it. You know, if I take it back to my Southern University days, baby, I was partying. I was in there, all all in. But now when I got home, I was all home. So now I don't know where that falls, but. I was but definitely- podcasting, I think, but y'all think podcasting is where now individuals that are introverts can now blossom. And then yeah. Nicole, you actually where you you kind of fit the mold is because you you're on both sides of the track. You have the introvert side and the extrovert side. You're able to help individuals that battle both. So mm-hmm. for me, I'm more yeah. extrovert. I so with you that. being both, yes. Yeah, She's able to do both. So you can coach somebody mm-hmm. that says, I'm an, I'm an introvert. I am too. Yeah. You know, so then let me help you, you know, get through that situation of being more right. visible, but starting out podcasting and right. then branching out, you know, because a lot of us don't want to be visible. They're like, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do this. You can put me no, on a I, It's a lot of introverts that are podcasters. Yeah. So it is yeah. that, you know, giving there them is that. I believe it's called No Small Talk. And it's, uh, is held by two girls who are introverts right and they put out some of the best content um on instagram we, we, right. we talk and connect a little bit because you know my whole thing is introversion is a superpower yeah um, but that is just relatively in networking and all of that good stuff but um i i i, I find that you guys are just afraid to be seen yeah i don't come out of that seen. shell that's that's a good point that's a point though right because you just made me think of one of the quotes that really allowed me to let myself shine and it's um what is it mary marianne marianne williamson Mm -hmm. from coach carter you know like who are you not to let your light shine like that quote really like gave me right the get the okay that i needed to say okay, well, me letting my light shine is in helping others, right? Like right. Yes. There's something about helping others that I think pushes you, you right. know, to right. do, right? And, and it really allowed me to just say, okay, I can do this and it's okay for me to do this. Right. Because it encourages others to do the same. So right. it's a uh, come out thing. Well, let me ask this question. If you had to meet with someone for the very first time, which I'm certain you probably encounter, but for the viewers, uh, what are five points that would help a person that wants to do it to get started? What's the first point? Give me five points. Five points for a person who wants to start a podcast. I always what do they tell do the person to start with your why, right? Like with even, you know, in business, your why is what's going to keep you going, right? right? Because it is times when the work may be heavy life may get in the way, right? So that why is going to give you the motivation to avoid what they call pod feed and be a person that put out a few episodes and then no one hears from you again. Right. So that's super important. And then it's your avatar, right? Really understanding Mm -hmm. who you're talking to or if you're interviewing guests, who you're interviewing, right? So that you can talk to those people accurately, right? Right. Getting good equipment. I like the condenser microphones because it hones in on your sound and takes away the sound of the background, right? Wow. So, uh, the condenser microphone. Mm-hmm. Um, so as far as content, I think a lot of people feel like they have to be a subject matter expert, right? But what mm-hmm. I say is 
you want to go after what you're passionate about, what you, mm-hmm. what is a probe for you or a mm-hmm. problem that you want to solve. So of course, passion, I think that's self-explanatory. As far as a probe, that is like, what do you want to know more about? Right. And that means that you don't have to be the subject matter expert. You mm-hmm. can be a person that's interviewing subject matter experts. So not only right. are you offering content to the world, you're growing at the same time. Mm-hmm. Right. And then it could be, uh, you know, whatever problem that irks your nerves that you want to solve, you know, it could, right. that could be your topic. Right. right. So figuring out that topic. Mm-hmm. Using sites like I mentioned earlier, answerthepublic.com to give you that inspiration. Right. I would also say do market research, like check out other podcasts to see what's out there, you know, right. take what you like, what you don't like, you know, figure out a way to differentiate differentiate yourself in the market right right? so do that research to figure that out um i think i gave was that five yeah that was five okay okay y'all i got that was good Uh, fantastic huh yeah that's that's really helpful because that just gives you a starting place and then whatever else additional yeah and if anything else additional they need they need to reach out to you there you go see i just she gave you some nuggets and if you need any more you need to reach out to her now. Exactly. That works. Oh, she has a question. Can y'all hear me? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh, what was number four and number five? I'm putting it in the chat. That's why I'm asking. Oh. Oh. I'm about what to go back, girl. We were flawed. So <laughs> I, I was flawed. I'm like, I don't know. What was the last one? The last one that was content. And was I content think the third one, because she had know your why, your avatar, your purpose. And I forgot the fourth one. I don't know. One, the fifth I, one I go back and yeah, do the replay. Yeah, as your content, that goes with your passion, purpose, or probe. So mm-hmm. you don't have to be a subject matter expert using Answer the Public to right. get those resources and then oh, yeah, doing market it. research. Yeah. Right. Doing market research oh, on like insight. other podcasts. Okay. Insight from public market research. Yeah. And I think a lot of times we forget Answer that uh, we have public. to know our avatar. I think that's the biggest thing of all is when doing a podcast, we get caught up in the why, you know, and then we start figuring out. We jump, I think we jump the avatar sometimes. because we, yeah. we got to find that. Who is that? Who is right. that person? You right. know, and I think we're so excited about starting it mm-hmm. we that we got to break this thing all the way down. Right. You know? yeah. Sometimes we right. go along you know, for the ride for a little bit, but after so long, we got to figure out who that person is. And I think sometimes we forget that. Yeah, the audience is important for sure. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It is. Because I like, want to do my podcast and I don't want it for people my mama's age, nothing personal. <laughs> you know, I'm just saying, <laughs> mom, I know you're watching. I love you, girl. But no, <laughs> <laughs> she probably going to call me now. What was that? No, I mean, that's one, one, one of my motivations for wanting to do the podcast. I'm an HR business strategist. I do HR all day. I talk shop all day long. I want to have an opportunity to empower other women in the sense that we got real issues we're dealing with. We got love. We got relationship issues. We have all of that. And I want to be able to have a podcast so that I can speak to what I know I want to hear areas in my life that I feel like I just want to chat with another woman about or, or someone else about. We're dealing with real issues. Yes, we're building businesses. Yes, we're doing all that. But I want an opportunity to have a podcast so that I can speak to women about life, marriage, love, being single. You know, the man just cheated on me. Whatever the thing is, is that we got those kind of issues. And I want to be able to have a podcast that deals strictly with those types of issues. I don't even want my podcast to be anything business, to be honest with you. Oh, okay. Not at all. He's because I was getting ready to say, you're going to talk about HR and him, and him cheating? Uh-uh, not well, at all. Cheat in HR? I talk- <laughs> yeah, but no, but see, I, I mean, of- I, I talk shop all day. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, you, you know, talk- I can, I, get I don't want to talk about that. That gets boring to me after a while. I want to talk about stuff that I'm I'm certain they're going to be like, girl, we, we talking about relationship? I'm tuning in this week. And it, and it depends because I have a girlfriend of mine. She does an HR podcast. Absolutely love it. It's just not, if I've dealt with that for 10, 12 hours a day, I ain't going on no podcast talk about no HR. So that's a good I'm point, right? And talk about the juice. That's a good point as far as your goal, right? So we'll add a bonus, right? Before right. you start, determine what your goal is. Is your goal right. to establish yourself as a thought leader? Is your goal to drive revenue to your business? 
right. to use your podcast as a lead magnet or is your goal to, right. you know, just release and, you know, have a conversation that you've been wanting to have. So, right. you know, it, it could be all or entertainment, right? right. What, right. what is your goal? Right. And you mentioned that a second ago. I, I really wanted to be so thought provoking because we leave that untapped. I think, you know, we as women in business, you know, we have all our different platforms and we talk business all day all long, day. Yeah, all day. And I'm like, at some point, when are we going to deal with the fact that that girl that's driving her business during the day, she's over here crashing at home mentally, you know, just trying to keep it all together. How do we empower that woman? Because we can only talk about business so long, you know, how do we tap in and really address what she's dealing with as a woman, what's happening at home. And it's not that we're therapists because that won't be the goal, but it really is to just kind of say, hey, we're having conversation. Girl, you dealing with that too? Well, let me tell you what I did. And you know, and every now and again, we bring in a professional who can say, these are some strategies and tips to be able to get you to the next level. But that's the only part of business, quote unquote, quote unquote, that I want to bring in. I really want to be able to address those issues. Cause again, I deal with business all day long. I can do it with my eyes closed. I don't want to talk about that after hours. So I, I agree with you. I, look, that's another point, girl. We're going to have a whole nother. I'm going to be tuned in waiting to listen what you got going on. <laughs> now are you planning on question for are you planning on doing like some trainings on, I know you had mentioned earlier mm -hmm. that you did one. Is that something that you see yourself doing in the future where you do more trainings offering that that's a good question i think i'm i'm leaning towards an online training right the actual yeah. in person i'm not sure yet yeah, i am we, working we, on a membership group though where the membership like group will have various levels and that'll be like the first level will be like a knowledge-based online cata uh, catalog right the level will be the catalog in addition to virtual instructor led and then the right. third mm -hmm. level will be those two plus mastermind sessions i like that that's mm -hmm. monetized that's right good. there that's money oh, that's, that's money good. right there that's all coaching. i heard huh what about group coaching yeah yes that's another to do on the to do right because the like my one-on-one -on -one that I'm doing right now is basically like a beta for me, right? So right. I want that to go into group. And of course, then the one-on-one -on -one will be the highest ticketed item, right? So anybody that wants a one-on-one, -on -one, you better get it while it's at this beta price, right? Because it won't be there for long. Right. Now, right. do you have a link? Let me ask you a question. Do you have a link for the beta? Or is it just on your- I have a way? podcast uh, launch consultation link, bit.ly. Okay. It's in my bio, right? Biz. Okay. Lee, what is it? Forward slash winners dash pod call, but it's with a capital W, capital H, capital I'll say T, it again. capital C. Uh, Bit.ly forward slash capital W, I N, capital H, E R, dash, capital P, O D. Are all of these letters capitalized? No, just the ones I'm saying in capital. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not going to put it in at the end because, look, I made it more difficult for me to even say what it is. That's all right, because, Nicole, I'm going to go ahead and put it out here. I'm going to put your social media links and things in the bio so people will be able to connect with, with you so they'll know how they can. But also, before we go, go ahead and kind of let everybody know where they can find you. Yes. Okay, so my website is winhersunited.com, and that's W-I-N-H-E-R-S, United, U-N-I-T-E-D.com. From there, it links out to all of my social media. I think that's the easiest place, but I am on Facebook. Uh, what else? Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and Instagram, at Winhers United. So that was another thing about the rebrand that was awesome. I actually was able to succinctly rebrand, which I have not in the past. Right? Also on LinkedIn, at Nicole Walker Network, one word. Okay. Um, Facebook, Nicole Walker, but it's like numbers. So go to Winhers United, and I reshare re my post. You can find my personal page from there. All right. Are you on IG? Yes. Okay. I didn't put that there. Y'all gotta listen. Forgive me. Yeah, I know. See, you right. gotta make sure we put all of them. She gotta she gotta make sure she put that out there in the atmosphere <laughs> so everybody know how they can find you. Exactly. Because if everybody's Maybe looking in the chat. Podcast, yeah, if you're looking to start your own podcast and you're needing some direction, 
some guidance, please reach out to Nicole. She is here to help and assist in any way you need help. Um, with so many great things she's got coming out soon, the membership is going to be popping. And definitely, like she said, you want to get on that beta program before the price goes up. Y'all know how that beta worked, y'all. So definitely, we thank you, Nicole, for being thank with you. us. Thank you. I had so much fun. Look, uh, disclosure, I was tired and not energized before I got on here, but you guys have given me a spark. <laughs> and I so appreciate you. Yes, yes. this was a Look, great I think, it, I think it's Friday. always like that, girl. At the end of the week, we tired. It's been a long week. We're not feeling yeah. it. Yeah. You know what? We come in here and we're going to have us some fun. Yeah. And we want some people to take away some great nuggets from you tonight because you are That's phenomenal, right. awesome, and thank amazing. You. And so we are just happy. And thank you for so much for being on our show tonight. We thank you again. And You're as welcome. always, y'all, you always can connect with us at Hindsight Media Radio Station 103.5 that will air this coming Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time as well as Thursday at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can hear Nicole there again and catch all the nuggets as well as on iHeartRadio as well. You can also catch us there. So we look forward to seeing you all again when? Next Friday, same time, same station. Look, y'all, y'all have a fabulous weekend. Yes. Oh, thank you, Nicole. Bye, Nicole. Thank, thank you, love. Thank you. Thank you.